All right, people, welcome to Split in Croatia. And it's our first time here, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but uh, it's a little bit rainy. <laughs> so um, in the UK, we, uh, we had a lot of rain. We've got a really bad storm at the moment, actually. And uh, I don't know what it's called, but it's got some strange name. But basically, yeah, we've got a really bad storm in the UK, and that narrowly prevented us from getting here to Croatia in the first place. Um, so it's been a bit of an adventure already. Um, this ain't my first attempt at doing this vlog, actually. I was trying to do the vlog a minute ago, and uh, I'm sure to Tammy's absolute delight, I fell over. Uh, we was going down this little kind of, this, like kind of, I don't know, like what would you call it, like a, like a slope. Yeah. <laughs> I was going down this little slope, and uh, yeah, I just fell on my ass. You want to see my kneecap? <laughs> it's terrible. Really cut up. So Tam's been the the directions today, um, trying to find our way to split. Um, she is known to make us lost, so that should be interesting. But um, yeah, so how's the trip gone so far? So, well, the first issue we had was that we almost, as I said, didn't make it here because. The, uh, the train that we had booked to take us to Luton Airport from Peterborough had been cancelled, completely cancelled, because this storm caused the uh, railway tracks to get flooded, basically. So because they got flooded, um, our train was cancelled. Thankfully, we managed to jump on an alternative train and take us to London St Pancras. So uh, there was a saving grace. and then. We got to the airport, and again, due to flooding, the um, the actual shuttle that takes you to the airport itself wasn't working because that had been flooded as well. So um, we had to get a shuttle bus over to the airport, which was crazy. It was traffic was crazy. Everyone was packed on, and then we got here, and. Uh, the check-in process took forever. Some people tried to push in front of us. We weren't having any of it though. I was blocking their way. Tammy was telling them, no, I don't think so, mate. Get out of our way, get back in the queue. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're British. We, we stand by our queues. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's been quite eventful. We got to our apartment last night and we was absolutely exhausted. And we're staying in an Airbnb in a, in a small little place, just on the outskirts of uh, Split. We said we wouldn't do that anymore, but to be honest, we can get to split. We've just taken a bus. It's taken us about 10 minutes. Now it's just about 15 minute walk to the actual, uh, to the center of split itself. So I've made it to central split. And as you see, it's very, you know, very, very scenic. However, it's also very stormy. Currently lightning everywhere. I hope this thing doesn't, uh, you know, conduct too much electricity and uh, <laughs> set me ablaze and all that. But um, yeah, got a little harbour. It's all good. As I say, it's, it's pretty, but I, I, I don't much care for the tourist areas myself. Yeah, you know I mean, but if this is like what you're into, then yeah, this is what you get in the centre. <laughs> um, so what's the plan? Well, we don't actually have one. We just kind of when we when we go on holiday. Go on any sort of trip, we just wing it and just see what happens. And they're, they're the best type of experiences because you don't know what to expect, you don't know who you're going to meet, you don't know what situations you're going to end up in. If you have a strictly planned itinerary like my wife likes to have, then uh, you know, you uh, everything's very regimented. Regimented is bad, we don't like regimented. I don't know if you can hear it, but it is actually fun doing. Can you hear that? Full blown thunderstorm in split. Well, this one from zero to 100 pretty quickly. Look at this. I think, uh, <laughs> I think walking about in this may be a bit of a challenge. Um, we've just discovered that our shoes are not waterproof. So that's good. That's gonna be fun happened to me in Scotland actually I remember uh, it was really wet in Scotland and uh, yeah 
it, um, my, my shoes got completely waterlogged and it was to the point where nice poor Tammy she's terrified of she's scared of thunder but not lightning how does that make sense <laughs> but um got completely waterlogged and I almost got trench foot it was terrible and I don't want that I don't want that happening here I've already got a busted kneecap you know I don't want to you know don't have to deal with trench foot on top of that so uh yeah we're just going to try and wait for this to die down Here we go people, so this is what we're facing, look. We're up against Storm Babbitt. It's Northern Europe. So, yeah, I don't know if this is uh, anything to do with what we're going through currently, but uh, yeah. I would imagine that it is in some way linked. Well, blimey. I don't even think Croatia are ready for this uh, storm. Let's see yeah, if I can get any closer. Look at that. Nuts. <laughs> I don't think their infrastructure is designed to deal with this level of rain. Dobry jutro. Uh, mogę li dobić dwa umbrella, Molin? Może, kła. Super, super. Da, da. Fala, fala. Nie? Huh? Fala. Super! Do Virginia, do Virginia. Right, we got an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> I got a Scottish tartan one. Um, a one. And yeah, Tom got a leopard print one. So for the very least, at least if it starts again, then we're protected. But unfortunately, the uh, the old the shoes are now completely waterlogged. Can you just open that for me, please, love? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh it is what it is, you know what I mean? There we go. What do you think? You don't get that often in a vlog, do you? <laughs> Walking around with a, with a brolly. Usually you'll get like the fancy music and people sitting in this kind of place. It's very pretty, but not for me. Let's go and take a stroll down there. Let's see what we've got. But yeah, just down there, down that high street the road is completely flooded and I believe it's because like Croatia doesn't have the infrastructure to deal with this level of rain which is understandable because generally speaking it's quite a quite a warm humid country it's it, be, warm now. it is still quite humid yeah despite despite the rain it's still quite huh we had a chibachichi yesterday but yeah we can go and get another one if you want All right, so first attempt at a Chivapchichi. I'll try it on its own first. Oh wow. That's pretty good. Hmm. Mogoli Platiti. I got it some. Yes, you do. Okay. Uh, can I have um, Mogoli Dabiti Yedin Kalovachko? Kalovachko Molly. Um, bottle please, bottle. Fala, bam, fala. Am I, in Croatia, are you allowed to drink this outside or is that like, oh you're allowed, to, okay. Fala, bam, fala. Fala, bam. All good, I'm done. So I got myself a Carlo Vachko. And I just asked the lady, as you probably saw, and uh, you can you can drink on the streets in Croatia. So you didn't want to break any laws, obviously. The only problem is I haven't got a bottle opener. So uh, yeah, might have to just wait till I get home to try this. But uh, yeah, Carlo Vachko. So if you're wondering, that's the stuff. Give it a go. Well, I'll give it a go and I'll let you know what I think. Making new friends. Hello, kitty. And you lovely. Hey. 
Yes, you're beautiful. Bye bye, mate. <laughs> We've got a hike to do. So we made it to uh, a fairly decent portion of it. It's uh, a lot more stairs than we was expecting. Let's uh, have a look down there. What we saw was just the tip of, of the proverbial iceberg. So just as we was walking up here, we stumbled upon this, uh, the Church of St. Nicholas. We was doing a little bit of a reading up on it and uh, it was built in 1219. Absolutely crazy. Um, and I think from what I was reading, the last time it was renovated was in 1990. Just kind of structural changes just to make sure, you know, it's, it's safe and sound basically. But um, yeah, an ancient bit, a bit of history right here, you know, right before our very eyes. And that's what it would have looked like at some point. And uh, if you're interested, pause here for uh, information. So earlier I was like, these bullies, four, four euros, that's not a bad little deal, especially considering it's, uh, you know, on the high street, and, and now I, I know why. <laughs> Look at that. Don't know if you can see. This <laughs> bolly's got a hole in it. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Unbelievable. I feel like, uh, what do you call it? Who's that one with the, uh, the umbrella that flies everywhere, Tam? Mary Poppins. Mary Poppins. If it gets any windy, I probably will be Mary Poppins. Okay, time to tackle these stairs. My God, these are these are steep. And considering I've fallen over, and uh, I'm not going to need this anymore. Considering I've fallen over, my kneecaps not in a great way. So yeah, I had to lose the bandana because uh, it was pretty much waterlogged. So uh, yeah. I hope the Airbnb has a hairdryer. Yes, sir. Well, it does. I'm going to have to dry my shoes out. <laughs> my socks. So, yeah, on the way up here, we saw a sign that said zoo. If you know anything about Tammy, she loves a zoo. So, uh, I'm assuming that's a mistranslation because I don't know if there's a zoo here. But um, there's like a botanical garden up here where we're heading to. But, yeah, we're pretty high up. I'd like to know how high up we are. Okay. And then again, I'm scared of heights. So maybe I wouldn't. All right, so having a little look around the park now. And uh, yeah, very scenic. Obviously you don't tend to come to a park when it's uh, raining, but um, it is what it is. <laughs> And there we go, people. Made it to the top. It's as far up as we can get, I believe. So yeah, I got a pretty, pretty decent view of a uh, split. Pretty panoramic, and uh, some lovely grey skies as well, of course. And uh, an island over there somewhere. But yeah. Tammy was saying there's a football stadium over here. I think it belongs to Hadjuk Split or something like that. Got to be careful because there's puddles everywhere. And uh, my, just my, yeah, my shoes ain't waterproof. Uh, Trying to find it. There it is. So yeah, this football, football stadium is split. Right there. So yeah. But yeah, took a bit of work to get up here. But well, it's a lot more than 314. That was just to get to this bit. But yeah, it's been a bit of good old walk, but yeah, we've enjoyed it. It's certainly been uh, been worthwhile, you know, just for these views and stuff. But um, I fear that we're going to get a little bit more rain once we're up here, which I really don't want to happen. 
So yeah, um, let's be careful of the puddles. <laughs> I've like now completely drenched my feet. Oop. But yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, well this is a lot easier. We've done it and now we're going down. <laughs> Not as difficult. But yeah, it's been a, it's been quite the journey, man. Um, you know, already almost getting to, our flights cancelled. Well, sorry, our train cancelled, which would have led to us missing our flight. And, uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> almost didn't even make it to Croatia. So and then we got here and then obviously the storm decided to follow us over. So it's been, not been easy, but I think you've got to make of it what you can when you go on a holiday. You can't just like sit there and be like, oh, it's not going right. You just got to roll with the punches. Well, it didn't take long, did it? Hammering it down again, isn't it? Yeah. Look at that. I was just saying, it's a good job for umbrellas. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we got the umbrellas. And my or, holy one. Your holy umbrella, yeah. <laughs> There we go, so that was the uh, the hill we climbed and I don't know if you can just about make it out but there's the uh, flagpole up there so that's where we made it to. So basically the very very top of that mountain, so not mountain, sorry that hill shall I say. Okay, back in the apartment. We're not going to do the apartment review today because to be honest our clothes are strewn about everywhere drying off so uh, it wouldn't be fair on the apartment owner for us to do a review and being like oh yeah, don't you mind all of our clothes here. No. Um, we knew it was going to rain. We did know that bit, but we didn't think it was going to rain on that level. <laughs> no, no, so, it, was, uh, it was torrential. Yeah, we weren't, we weren't ready for that. But um, yeah, it was, it's, it's, been a, it's been an interesting experience so far. Um, I think, uh, obviously, um, I fell over at the very start of the trip, which uh, Tammy found quite amusing. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, uh, my kneecap is still throbbing as we speak. Still got a boat with. <laughs> Unbelievable. So yeah, um, got to try out my creation today. Um, Realise you've been learning it as well, but you've not spoke any. No, I know. <laughs> what are your thoughts on split time? Um, yeah, um, not blown away. No? No. We've been to quite a few different places. Um, and obviously, you know, you. Well, the good thing is we came to split without any real expectations. I really like it myself. I think the people are really friendly. The food's nice. Um, I've only had, well, I've had a donut, a burek, and a chivapchi. <laughs> oh, so I admit that was nice. The, the, the chivapchi yeah. was good, but very overpriced. So, uh, very. yeah, that was our mistake. We we, uh, we stumbled into the tourist trap, that unfortunately. Was my fault. I saw food and I was like, food. And she dragged, dragged me along. We got a, a fridge magnet, which, surprise, surprise, that's what we always end up doing. Of course. But um, yeah, it's been a good trip. Um, we've got a long old day tomorrow because we're jumping on a coach and taking a four hour journey. Um, won't say where, if you want to see the video, give it a watch. It's either going to go up soon or it's up. So give it a little, give it a little look. Um, and yeah, we're going to going to jump on another Flixbus, uh, but this time in Europe. So we've done a Flixbus in England. It went okay. It wasn't the most amazing, but it, 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 it was okay. And then we're going to do a flix plus a flix plus here in europe or well england is in europe but in in yeah. in central europe but luckily this is not a night bus it's not a night bus no we're, 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 we're getting there uh, <laughs> in the afternoon so uh yeah keep your eyes peeled for that but um yeah we just really want to thank you for watching this video and uh, enjoying our little hike and our little crazy situations and uh keep your eyes peeled because we will do an apartment review uh, for the places we're staying as well so keep keep your eyes peeled for them and uh if you want to go and see content that's behind the scenes there's instagram we've got a tiktok tammy deals all that stuff mm -hmm. so if you want to see all the lovely pictures she takes go ahead um and yeah we just really appreciate the time you've taken to watch the video uh we hope you have a great day and uh yeah we'll catch you on the next one see you on the flip side people take care